So when doing our respiratory assessment, it's really important that we know anatomically where everything is and make sure that we are deliberate about where we're assessing that we're actually assessing what we think we are. So we have to remember that the lungs sit all the way up here, much higher than people tend to think. The apices poke up here above the clavicles. The base of it is right about that, resting on that sixth rib. So if you see here, angle of Louis, your second rib, that's two, three, four, five, six. So the lungs basically are sitting right along here. So much higher than people tend to think. On the back, posteriorly, the lungs sit up here, and then they go down to about the T10. So that is about right to here, okay? So it only leaves a little bit of space below the apex of the, of the scapula in order to assess. So when we're looking at our posterior landmarks, We've already done the apices on the front, so we've got our uppers, our middles, our lowers, we can come down below the points of the scapula, and then our laterals, we want to turn the patient mid-axillary, and remember those lungs come from the 10th and go up to that 6th, that T10, go up to that 6th rib in the front. So we're going to be right up about here assessing for our laterals. On the front, we've got our apices, our, our one, two. Then we've got to divide this, our upper, middle, lower. So we've got our uppers, our middles, our lowers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, seven, eight can come further out laterally because breast tissue is displaced up. So we're not listening over breast tissue when we're down at that that eighth point.